Hi, you're watching Dungeons and Coffee. Today's going to be a little different. Instead of going to the craft room to make some crafts for our tabletop RPGs, we're going to go into the forge and make some cooking utensils for our campsite. So stay tuned. Dungeons and Coffee! Greetings. Okay, so today we're here at my son's forge. We're going to make some accessories for a beautiful camp tripod he made for me because um, he found out that I had some uh, some new cast iron cookware. So I'm going to put that to use. So uh, here in a second we'll show you what we're going to make and uh, we'll get started. Alright, so here's what we're working with. Here's our, here's our plastic pot here just for a demonstration. But uh, he made me this really nice uh, three bar tripod and this can actually be used for uh, to use as a rotisserie straight across as well. But uh, we've got these, these hook systems in here that make it latch into place. And uh, you want your S hook, of course, to go through the eye at the top, because that's what gives you your movement, which will allow you to be directly over, so the weight will carry down. So the main thing that we're going to do today is right here. Um, these are what we have thus far: some S hooks, which is the classic way. This is what people expect to see at a cast iron cooking post. But um, we're going to make a few more of these, various sizes, and maybe play around with some other ideas as well. So let's hit the forge. So that's the name of the forge, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a nice touch. I thought it was nice. How long have you been forging? Not very long. I never have time because I work so much. That's why I told Tristan to keep it at his house. He's been getting a lot more done. He gets off so early every day. Sounds great. It does be. It's that kind of ball in my direction. Ever since I fastened it down, it doesn't break at all. hanging out. Taco has separation anxiety. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this can be used as a poker, a hook to hang on the thing like you see in the pictures. And then also just as a tool, as your handle. Check on the grub. Put it back on the hook. And there's a close up of the little steak turner or chicken, whatever. Remember, keep your books off the table and keep reaching for the dice.